what is up guys this is vishu from savage camp and in today's video we are going to look at time zones so i work as an infrastructure engineer so i work on the infrastructure which is worldwide so i have to work with machines that are in asia that are in europe that are in the us uk australia basically all over the world and time zones are very important for us with all the advances in today's programming there's almost a properly maintained module in every programming language and in python we have pi tz which is python time zone we can import time zone from there and of course we are going to work with date time so from date time we need to import date time let's start with the format so time format is going to be i am in london so i will go with the normal day month year capital y actually and i'll just go with hours and seconds so hours and seconds so i have this time zone format i need to do it as format and what i will do is print let's do now now is equal to date time dot now and remember it's date time dot date time dot now but because we already imported it over here we can see it so dot string format and this is the format print now so once i run this you will see that you can get today's date and time remember that this is the date and this is the month if you are in the us it's opposite it is what it is in london this is how i'm going to write it so once we have that let's do a time zones so tz we will create a list loop through this list and take today's time in each of these time zones so let's start with us eastern i will also do us central then let's come to europe so europe london and europe amsterdam actually like your amsterdam amsterdam then let's go with asia tokyo and asia um uh, we'll go with jakarta and the last one is utc which is the standard one so let's print these out for zones in tz print tz so we just need to make sure that they are coming up properly you don't need to do this but they are oh actually i need to print out zones so this is like the problems that happens that you can avoid by printing every step so for zones in time zone let's create a dt object which should be now dot time zone actually let me just call this again because i need to pass that inside date time dot now and here i'm going to say time zone which is the module that i imported over here time zone and i'm going to pass in the zone so i need to rename that so it's a single zone so once we have that i will print date time in zone is dt remember this is going to be a date time object because we haven't used the string format so this is this date time object and all i have to do is after this put string format and change it to our time format so this is going to make it more easier for us to read and you can see the time zone over here and you can also see what the current time is so pretty short and simple you need to know what this uh, abbreviation is you can find this in wikipedia you can just find it on google and it is also available in pi tz documentation but uh, don't go over doing all the conversions by yourself use the modules that are available because they are made to make your life easier so you don't have to do all this 
So save yourself all the time and use this because this is way better than whatever you're trying to do on your own. So use this and that is it guys. Pretty short, pretty useful video. Keep coming back to this when you deal with time zones because this is pretty slick. So that's it guys. I will see you guys in the next one.